In this video, you'll see how to automate service limit increases and enterprise support with AWS Control Tower. When provisioning new accounts in this environment, you can use lifecycle events to trigger automated requests for service limit increases in specified regions and enrollment in enterprise support. AWS Control Tower offers an easy way to provision new accounts in your organization at scale. To save time and ensure process standardization, you can automate some common tasks that occur immediately after an account is created. To begin account configuration, let's navigate to Control Tower. For the purposes of this example, we're signed into an AWS Control Tower environment as the master account. Right now, only the default accounts have been set up in this environment. Let's take a look at the service quotas. AWS Service Quotas is a service that enables you to view and manage your quotas for AWS services from a central location. For example, here are all the service quotas available for AWS Lambda. Depending on your business needs, you might need to increase your service quota values. To see how, let's configure AWS Control Tower to automatically request a quota increase for AWS Lambda concurrent executions when a new account is created. In preparation for requesting the service increase, make a note of this service code and the quota code. Here is the current default quota value that we want to increase. Now let's navigate to CloudFormation. To manage this automatic quota increase request when new AWS Control Tower accounts are created, let's deploy a CloudFormation template that will configure the Control Tower environment for us. For the purposes of this example, the template file has already been created. Before proceeding, let's take a quick look at the template. This CloudFormation template creates an AWS CloudWatch rule for a successful account provisioning event in AWS Control Tower. It also deploys an Amazon SNS topic for the events and an AWS Lambda function that is subscribed to the topic. This top section defines the parameters that can be passed to the CloudFormation template. This code shows how we are creating an event rule that is triggered by a Control Tower lifecycle event. In this case, the trigger fires when the creation of a new managed account reaches the Succeeded status. Further down, we create the appropriate permissions for a Lambda execution role. This role will be used to call a custom Lambda function that will request the quota increase for the account. That Lambda function is defined here. Next, let's proceed with deploying this stack. Provide a name for the stack. Next, specify the Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket with a custom Lambda function that will be used to request the quota increases. You can also customize which regions to deploy this lifecycle event solution to. In this case, let's retain the default settings. Finally, provide the values for the AWS Lambda concurrent execution quota you want to request the increase for. Let's specify a new value of 1500 as our desired limit, a 50% increase. Proceed through the rest of the process of deploying the stack. Accept the terms and create the stack. This stack is now finished deploying. Before looking at the results, let's also configure our control tower environment to automatically create a support request to enroll the new account in our enterprise support plan. To do so, we'll deploy a second CloudFormation template. Again, we'll use a template file that has already been created. Let's take a look at the template file. Here are the parameters. Scrolling down, you can see that the trigger is the same as for the previous template. This lifecycle event will fire off once a new managed account is created. Again, we specify the permissions for a Lambda execution role. In this case, the Lambda function that will be created is defined right in the template. The function contains all the business logic needed to submit a new support case in the master account for the AWS Control Tower environment. 
requesting that the newly created account be added to the organization's enterprise support plan. Let's proceed to deploy the template. Give the stack a name, and then provide an email address for notifications. Proceed through the rest of the steps to deploy the stack. Now that we've deployed both of these stacks and created the lifecycle events in our master account, let's navigate back to Control Tower and create a new account to test the automation. You can create accounts programmatically, but in this case, let's use the account factory. Provide the necessary information to enroll the account. Click the button to enroll the account. The enrollment request has now been submitted. After a few minutes, you can refresh this page and verify that the account has been created. Next, let's view the support cases for the master account. As you can see, a support case has automatically been submitted for the request to add the newly created account to our enterprise support plan. Let's drill down and quickly review the case details. Next, let's sign into the new account we just created. Let's review the service quota requests. Notice that there is a pending service quota request for this region. Let's switch to the second region for which we submitted a service limit increase to verify that a request has been added there as well. The request was added. Let's review it. As you can see, the requested quota value is 1,500 concurrent executions, which is the value we specified when we created the CloudFormation stack. You've just seen how to automate service limit increases and enterprise support with AWS Control Tower. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.